So 2012 was a very exciting year for GE in Canada because we actually invested in four new centers of excellence. Two of them were in the aviation space. One is actually a global jet engine testing facility that focuses on cold weather testing. And uh, we built that facility with our partner, Standard Aero, in uh, Manitoba. The second facility, also in aviation, is very exciting. In our plant in Bromont, which is south of Montreal, we have been able to convert much of our workload to robotics. And the people who were doing the work are actually now the ones training the robots. The plant has become so good at it that we're actually building and opening an advanced robotics manufacturing center in the country. And it will be a global center of excellence for the application of robotics in aviation manufacturing. Two other centers that we're very excited about, one was in Ontario, just north of Toronto. And there we have a center that focuses on energy transmission and distribution, what we call the smart grid. And we combined several facilities to create a new manufacturing center, a new lab, and a global center of excellence around innovation, new product and design for what is the smart grid. Very exciting. And then finally and fourth is the global center of excellence. It's called a, the Calgary Innovation Center. The Calgary Innovation Center was the first center that we built in the world that focused on all of GE's products and how to create an innovation framework to work with our customers on designing new solutions to their problems. We invest a, a lot of time and resources into employee training and leadership development. It's absolutely critical to being able to supply our customers, meet the needs of our demanding and changing marketplace. And it takes many shapes and forms. So whether it is um, recent university grads, skilled technicians, or senior leadership, the officers of the company, everybody um, is involved, uh, is recommended for, and participates in training. In fact, we just launched a very exciting program called LEAP uh, in Canada this past year. It's called a Leadership Acceleration Program. And we took, you know, 20 of our top talent people and put them through six months of training while they were still having their day job. But they learned about case studies, exciting leadership challenges, they worked on specific company projects, got to present to leadership management. They loved it. We got great exposure to a top talent group. And it's just one example of how we keep investing in people to keep them sharp, keep them responsive, and also um, make sure that they're engaged with the company and giving us feedback all the time.